In the northwest of the UK is a town called Wigan, and south of this town is a nature reserve called the Wigan Flashes. There are eight shallow wetlands or flashes in the area which were formed because of mining subsidence. Over the years and with careful maintenance, the industrial landscape has developed into a mixture of beautiful habitats including open water, reed beds and mossland. Today the area has an abundance of wildlife enjoying these habitats. On the 17th of October 2021, I was contacted by a witness called Paul who'd had an experience on the Wigan Flashes. But after speaking to Paul, meeting him, I found there was more than his experience coming from this area. Others were having strange experiences as well. After putting the video out with Paul's experience, I had another witness coming forward. I would like to thank him for coming forward. He didn't want to be recognised, so I changed his voice. I think with all the other accounts from this area, this one should be brought forward. With this coming to light, we have now three sightings of this type of being coming from this area. I, I was absolutely gobsmacked, because obviously I've, I've kept this as a, as a secret. And when I saw that, um, that video you did, and mentioned about this woman, and it's, it's in that vicinity. You know, I, I was like, it absolutely floored me. I, I was absolutely gobsmacked, I thought. But it just defied to me what I had seen, well, what we'd seen and heard, you know. There was that justification there, I thought. Yeah, well, it was like, I used to work at the Glassworks, which was over there. There's now like a, a big uh, housing development there. <coughs> um, I think it shut, ended up shutting in 91. But we'd, me and a couple of mates, we used to work it on machines so that we'd get like, we'd do an hour on and an hour off, or sometimes it was an hour and a half off with the way we'd work it. So <clears throat> me and a, a couple of mates usually nipped out, or it was either me and a mate, or me and a couple of workmates. Well, nine times out of ten, it was just me, me and this little lad. And, um, Basically, we, 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 as you come out to the, the back of the factory, there was a, there was an old, like a, a loading line, that, cause all the raw materials used to come in, um, by rail. I mean, they were all wagons when, when I was working there. So they came in by road, but back, back in, in the early seventies, it was, um, it was all loaded from, from rail cars. So you could get out there, um, Basically, you could you could walk it down to to Leeds and Liverpool Canal, <clears throat> which didn't take that long. So that's what we do sometimes on a night on a night turn. We kill a bit of time basically. Mm. So we would nip out and we go we go just wandering about like and um, down canal. We, sometimes we'd see the odd fisherman like very rarely. Um, we can imagine we, we'd absolutely scare them to death if we just popped out like and oh, we were walking. They didn't know we were walking down, but it would panic them a bit like. Um, so we were always a bit like wary of frightening anybody. But yeah, this, this particular night, I see a few times we've been out and we thought somebody was following us. We could hear like footsteps, you know, like. And we, we thought it was some, somebody prat, like, pratting about, you know, because obviously there, there were a couple of other lads who may have come out at the same time as us or just after, or just before, whichever, so sometimes you'd see them going back. Um, <clears throat> but this particular night, there was only me and my mate, the other lads weren't in. So we were... Uh, like I said, we were, we were walking through and we were just like chit chatting as you do. And, uh, anyway, we, we, we kind of like just gone quiet. We were just walking. And it was, I remember it was, it was quite a clear night I and mean, it was, it was like moonlit, um, early hours and it was definitely 
run like September, October, now and into them like a date that because we were at canteen before we set off yeah. and Bee Gees were on with, with I think it was Win Again that song and that were out then <clears throat> so I knew it, w- it would have been about 80, that September, October 87 um, so like I said we, we, we were walking and then we, we were just like oh, we were clear footsteps but loud ones you know I so, thought oh here we go so we just like swung into into these bushes we, we were kind of like aware that s- someone was, was coming closer my mate, he whispered, he whispered somewhat to me. I can't even remember what he, what he whispered. And, uh, all of a sudden, whoever it was, or whatever it was, just stopped dead. Absolutely dead. We could, couldn't hear anything. But at that, f- from that moment, it was kind of like, I got earplugs in. If, if you know what I mean, that like, muffled, I can't explain. It was like we were in a vacuum, like a, a soundproof room. That's all I couldn't explain. Like we couldn't hear anything else because it wasn't even windy, you know. But just couldn't hear, couldn't hear anything. And uh, I mean, it, it seemed to be like an age, a bit of an age. This and then so it was, we were, it, it took a couple more steps. Or I thought it, at first I thought it was just a big fella, and it was it appeared, but like it was about thirty foot away, but you could tell it was big. Um, I mean, I, I guess at least at least six and a half to seven foot between the roughly. Because my mate, he, he's a big lad. He, he was like a bodybuilder, um, and he was about six foot three, six foot four. And I, I, it was on a par with him, definitely. And uh, anyway, it was it kind of like it was stood there, and it's it's it sounds were like oh, I say it now because obviously I, I know I know different, but at the time I thought I, I I honestly thought it was somebody, some big fella wearing like these they were popular eighties, you know, these cowboy jackets with tassels, but it just. It just didn't seem right at, 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 at like two o'clock in the morning, you know. But then it, I, I couldn't. It was like in silhouette, so obviously the front of it couldn't see anything, couldn't see any detail. But you could make out the length of the the, the hair under the arms. Um, that it, all of a sudden it just it started like this. It was like it started off like a fella yelling but yeah. it was just so loud it was just like I was stood next to a speaker rat proper rattle me and uh, but it, it went on I mean I'd say in about 10 or 15 seconds I mean probably a bit shorter than that but it just seemed to the, the lungs on this must have must have been amazing because it was just it was just bellowing out and it kind of like tailed off in the middle and then like built up again and was like a bit of a, I'd say it was a roar. Um, th- that's all I can really e- explain it like. It was like, just like a, a roar. It finished off in like a roar. Like an animal. Uh, can't shake it now, I think. <laughs> hmm. oh. Yeah. Was that at the time as well, and after he had let out this this roar or whatever you want to call it, this scream, felt like sick, felt nauseous, a bit dizzy as well. And my eyes were stinging. And I, I couldn't smell anything. There was no smell or anything like that. Um, and then, more or less, as soon as it, it, it had stopped, it, it just... It went, but because I, I was like, my eyes were stinging, I was, I was rubbing my eyes, and I didn't see it go. It just, it, it was gone. But, and we couldn't hear it walking off either, it was just gone. And that was, that's, that was weird, because we could hear it coming, but we didn't hear it go. I opened them again, and it was just gone. Like, as if, as if it had just done one, but we couldn't hear it. 
which I thought was a bit, on, on reflection, like thinking back, I just thought it was a bit odd that we didn't hear it go when we heard it walking, you know. But a few times when we've been out, we could hear, we could hear like footsteps behind us and the odd, it sounded like growling, but we just thought it was like, because there was a lot of stray dogs then, we just thought it was something like that, you know. But uh, it was definitely, definitely not a person, I know that. It was like I, I, I kept like, I'd have dreams about it, you know, um, but I never, in the evening dreams, I'd never, I'd never see its face or, or, or anything. It was, it was just weird. I, I suppose I'm glad in a way I didn't, I didn't. I didn't see his face. It just like, it stuck, it proper stuck in my mind. Oh, I'm shaking now. I'm actually, all oh, my hands have gone cold and everything. Oh, one of the weirdest things I think I've ever seen and heard. Ever. And I, I, I mean, I've seen lights in the sky, weird lights in the sky and stuff. And <coughs> but that was just, me, I can't even, I can't even bring it. I really don't see him anymore. But you know, when when I have brought it up, he was like, you know, no, nah, don't know what you're on about. Totally, mm. like, totally denies, like he's in denial, like you know. But we never went out again after that. I never did not go out after that. And he's a, he was a big hard lad. He was an handy lad. Um, had a reputation for being hard, you know, but that. I mean, you go over now, you can, you can kind of like, there's like a path council had, had, had like developed it a bit with, with the trees and, and whatnot, and you, you can, you can walk your dog running there, but I've never, used to walk, walk the dog like, but I'd, I'd never go that way, I'd just carry on down canal. But uh, even, even then it was like, I felt weird, you know, so I'd always, Go with someone else. I'd take one of the lads with me, one of my sons, and anybody really just does it on my own. 